Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you a really quick tutorial on how to install Figma plugins and uninstall Figma plugins in the new Figma UI update that just came out in 2024. So to get started, all we need to do is open up a Figma file. So you can do that in the browser or in the Figma desktop app. And then you basically want to go down to the bottom toolbar here where it says actions and click on that little icon. So you might remember this icon that used to be up the top in the header. There used to be a header bar up here uh, where the actions button that looked like this was called resources. So now this has been renamed to actions, but it does the same thing. So you wanna click on this little actions button down here. And then at the top, you'll notice that there's a plugins and widgets tab. So you wanna click on that plugins and widgets tab. And you can see here, I'm starting from scratch. So I don't have any plugins installed at the moment. So it's gonna give me some suggested plugins instead of showing my plugins list. And what I want to do is just search for the plugin that I know I want to use. So you can search for the plugin name directly in here. That's going to pop up any results in the Figma community. And then you can just go ahead and click on the plugin and down the bottom here underneath the description, you can see that there's a button called save. So what you want to do is click on that save button and that's going to automatically add it to your plugins list here. And to run the plugin, all you need to do is now go back to your canvas right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then under saved plugins, you'll see the plugin that we just added. So you can now click on that plugin name to run it, and that's gonna automatically fire up the plugin that we just saved a second ago. So to remove the plugin, that's really easy as well. What you wanna do is go back to that uh, actions menu. So click on the little actions button down there, then switch into the plugins and widgets tab again, and then what you want to do is click on this little three dots icon next to the plugin name that you've already saved. So hover over the plugin name, hover over the three dots and click on that. And then what you want to do is click on this little remove item. So click on remove and that's going to remove it from our plugin uh, list and our Figma account. So you can see there it's been removed. And if we go to our right click menu now, go down to plugins, you can see that the plugin has been removed. So again, you can click on this little manage plugins link to get that item menu back up. And again, you can search for another plugin and install that. So we can go to uh, a different plugin. So let's just go to the copy doc plugin. And the other way you can save this is also from the Figma community. So for example, if we click on this item, you'll notice there's a little icon up here with a little globe icon that says open in the community. If I click on that, that's basically gonna open up the Figma community page for the plugin. So this is under the Figma community uh, URL, and this is where you can browse plugins. So you can see up the top here, you can actually browse the plugins through the Figma community page. And I can also save it directly from this page. So for example, if I click on this save icon on the Figma community page, that's going to automatically install the plugin to my Figma account. So if I go back to my Figma file now and close this off, and then if we right click, go back down to plugins, go down to saved plugins, you can see that the copy doc uh, plugin that we just saved from the community page over here has now been added to our plugins list in our account. So you can, again, you can remove that from the community page as well. Just click on this little bookmark icon where it says remove from saves, click on that. And again, that will remove the Figma plugin from your account. So it does exactly the same behavior as we saw from the actions panel but in this case, you can do it directly from the community. So if you prefer to browse the community, so browsing through uh, the features up here or searching directly through the community up here, you can definitely do that. So again, you can just click onto any of these, save it, and then that'll be available in your plugins list. So you can see that over here. Uh, you can also do that from community pages. So if we go to the Hypermatic account, you can see we can browse the plugins through here. And again, you can just click on any of those and install it. So just click on the little bookmark. And again, that's gonna save it instantly to our plugins list. You can see we've got those two there. And if we go back into our actions underneath plugins, again, you'll see a list of all the plugins that we've just uh, saved to our account. And again, you can remove those, view the details of those and uh, manage them through there. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to run through that in case you're wondering where the plugins uh, functionality has gone. Again, the entire UI has been redesigned recently, so a few things have been moved around. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to cover that really quickly in case you've been wondering how to uh, get your plugins back or remove them or manage them. Uh, those are the two ways you can go about it. 
and they'll always show up underneath the plugins tab down here and you'll be able to manage them as expected. So that's basically it. I'll leave it there for today and keep it really simple. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.